believe he's 13 points by yeah, now. Especially without the Peverly around him. I mean, he's really had to be their go-to guy, and he has. Behind the Wolves go. The puck jammed to the corner. Peterson checked through it deep to Neal. Now we're going to have a scrap. And uh, Bombers back, and Oistrick are going to have a go. Bombers back on a right hand in. Now Oistrick with the helmet off. Oh, a couple uppercuts. Might have done some damage, and Oistrick having his way. And every scrap, this is the third one of the period, and the Wolves have won every confrontation. I thought I saw why this took place. First of all, there's a, there's some contact down in the corner, and when Oyster pulls out of there, he's actually touching his face, so I think he gets high-sticked and did not like it. He comes back with a couple of, uh, I guess, half-decent cross-checks that were not going to get called on Bomber's back. And when Bomber's back turns, they drop the gloves. This is LaValle with a puck. Neal's going to pick it up and move it up the ice. Bomber's back with it. Now there's the stick. It comes up. Bomber's back stick comes off the glass, hits Oystrick in the face, and you can see him grin. He wasn't happy. A couple of subtle checks, and they both drop him. And Oystrick, after that, really had his way with a couple of beautiful rights near the end of this fight. We have not seen this, I don't think, this year, Pat, from Iowa. Not that they instigated so much these fights, but the willingness to drop right away and go at the Wolves, so they're uh, trying something different. Well, entering play today, they had been shorthanded almost 70 times fewer than the Wolves had. Yeah. 